How exactly do you use images in the book? To answer question number two about images in the life books, I thought it was best just to show you one of the images from the book. This is one of my favorite images. This is a moment when as a course book writer, you see an image and you think, wow, that's perfect. Why do I like it? Well, I like the fact it has three generations of women and quite often you don't see older people in course books as well as younger people. So I like that. I also, from time to time, like to use black and white images because sometimes when you remove color from images, um, it generates more thinking and more discussion amongst the students because they focus on what's in the photo rather than thinking about the colors. Although color is of course important, but this image in particular, I like the fact it's black and white. The other thing about a good image is that a good image lends itself to different topics. So I could look at this image and say, what type of topics would you teach with this image? And you might say, well, the topic of generations, topic of communication, technology, maybe clothes, fashion, uh, different age groups. Um, the three women are sitting on a station platform, so you could even use it for transport. I actually chose it for a unit called Stages in Life because I thought it said a lot about the different stages um, in our lives. Now, if I was using this in class, and typically you'll see this type of photograph at the beginning of a unit in life, I might ask the students to describe what they can see. And I might use the vocabulary in the picture, like a walking stick, bag, um, phone, shoes, uh, bench. I could teach that kind of voc vocabulary. But I could also generate what I talk about in terms of higher order thinking skills. I could get students to think more critically, more creatively about the image. I could ask them, what do you think the two older women are talking about? What do you think the younger woman is texting? Um, what does this say about modern communication? You know, the two older women are talking face to face, the young, younger woman's um, using her phone. Now, obviously, in life, we use lots of different pictures. We do use pictures for teaching vocabulary. Um, we link images and photographs connected with listenings and, and reading texts. Um, but I think the strength of the book is that so many of the pictures are taken by National Geographic photographers and they genuinely stimulate students' imagination. So you can use the images in the book in different ways for both lower and higher order thinking, which I'll talk a little bit more about in a minute.